guess who reached out to me again? Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's right guys, it is true. MPOW has finally found me once again and reached out and sent me their MPOW X6 that just came to the market. So I am so stoked to be able to bring these to you guys on a Brandon No Deep video. But you know, I need to get something off my chest. Allow me to explain. As creators, we really do take all the time to, you know, go through the comments because, I mean, personally coming from my point of view, I think if you guys actually take the time to write on my page, then I owe you the time to read it and answer it. Like this guy here, the AMC Spirit writes, first time here and really like the reviews. Quick question, then he goes on to ask about some MPOWs and uh, H500s and which ones I thought were better. And thank you again for trusting me and providing you with some good quality information. Here's another one. Julian Manoz, uh, apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. Amazing video, he writes. Thank you. Thank you. That makes me feel very blessed and it makes me want to just keep making these videos for you. But unfortunately, you do come across a few, I like to call trolls here and there. And I don't know if this guy is a troll or if he's really speaking from the heart. Well, I'm going to call out you, Mr. Manol uh, da Silva writes, and I quote, you did explain, you did explain anything. Just got time to people watch the video expiration. Ridiculous. Go to another job. YouTube is not for you. <laughs> I know. I know. Yes, this guy actually wrote this. And you know what? Any other time I would just blow it off, let it fall off the side of my shoulder. But not today. Today, Mr. Manuel uh, De Silva, I challenge you. If you think you can do this job better than me, then by all means, send me your footage and I will be sure to post it and we'll do a comparison and see whose job it is to continue in the YouTube field. <sighs> Holy crap, I feel so much better. For those of you that have never met me before, I do apologize for the little rant. My name is Brandon No D. That's right, there is no D in this name. And if any of you guys are interested in tech reviews like this one today, camera gear, vlogs, hell, you name it, I'll review it. If any of that does seem to spark your interest, I encourage you, no, actually I dare you, hit my subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all, and I will make a promise to you to deliver you good, honest, quality reviews.
Oh, and one other thing. Do you actually believe that 6,787 followers could be wrong? Let's go to the Skycam. All right, in the box, you'll get your MPOW uh, instruction manual, and it's fairly thick. And if you uh, really want to geek out and get into all the specs, then this is what you would go by. But for us simple folk, yeah, these are really nice. You get your quick guide, which I really love it when earbud companies provide you with something so simple, very easy, one, two, three, four steps, and you're off to the races. Also in the box, you're gonna get a two year warranty. That's right, two years. And I always emphasize the awesomeness of having a two year warranty versus a one year, which most companies give you. Uh, they're gonna back their product with two years. And I think that's phenomenal. Then you'll get your type C cable, which is fantastic. Uh, although it is short, but guess what? It's a type C guys, not a micro. Also in the box, you'll get your silicone tips, your small, medium, and large, medium being on the unit as it comes out of the box, fit my ears just fine. All right, hitting the center of the attention is the MPOW case, and this is a lot different than what you're normally used to seeing from MPOW. The case is a little bit larger, but yet a little more elegant. If you notice, it's a blue tint color with a gold hinge and a gold logo on the top. They are getting fancy. And when you open the case, you are greeted with two beautiful looking MPOW in gold logos on each set of earbuds. You're also getting a nice gold, uh, no folks, not a screw in adapter. It is a actual speaker. I know it looks like a, something you would screw into it because it's brass. They just went all out and making their buds look very nice and very stylish. I did notice another reviewer complaining about how the case closes as you pull forward. He's right, it does not seem to stay up as much as we would like. Just the little bit of incline will definitely make this thing shut. So that could get on your nerves, but uh, I'm sure with a little muscle memory, you can figure it out, it should be fine. You're gonna get two indicators on the front letting you know that your battery is in full use with the case. And looking at the earbuds a little closely, they are pretty sharp. I like them. All right, let's go ahead and nerd out real quickly now just to go over the specs. All right, first and foremost, these are going to be equipped with the ANC and the transparency mode, which I am a firm believer on earbuds that have both options. Sometimes you're out alone jogging or you're maybe running a machine and you wanna put an earbud in and you need that transparency mode to hear the surroundings around you. Anything where you don't wanna be bothered with that background noise, you've got your ANC. So you got both here and they're telling you that you get 28 dB of noise cancellation. So that's, that's fairly good. Now, as far as playtime goes, they're saying you're gonna get five hours on the buds plus 20 hours on the case with ANC off. With ANC on, you're gonna get four hours on the buds and 16 hours on the case. So that's typical. Two hours to charge the unit fully, just to be aware. So they are emphasizing their new feature called in-ear wearing detection. And what that means exactly is that when you pick the earbud up and you put it in your ear canal, it'll start playing either the music or the show you're watching or what have you. But when you remove the unit out of your ear, it'll automatically pause. And a lot of people like that feature so you're not losing anything that's in the show or in a song once you take it out real quick to talk to somebody. But then again, you have transparency mode, which they're saying you'll be able to leave them in and still hear what's going around you and hear people talking to you as well. And another great feature that these are coming with is your Bluetooth 5.1. That's right, you have a 5.1 Bluetooth on these, but finally you'll be able to use these while playing games without the latencies. At least that's what they're saying. And finally, they're coming with an IPX6 rating, which is really good for earbuds with ANC options on them because it's hard to get the higher ratings because of the technology. They're just not there yet. But an IPX6, however, is gonna be just fine for you to go outside, jog, uh, be out in the weather, sweating them, uh, get them wet, no problem. You're just not gonna wanna submerge them, of course, but getting them wet, it's gonna be no problem. 
All right, let's move this review along. We're gonna go ahead and test these out and then I'm gonna give you my quick pros and cons and then we'll get you out of here. All right, let's go ahead and insert the unit, which uh, right off the bat, usually when I have earbuds with uh, transparency mode and ANC, I like to hear that first before I even play a song. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that first on the test. And that is done by pressing and holding. All right, so yeah, I'm definitely able to hear my voice clearly. Definitely can hear the fan noise on the uh, computer in the background. Yeah, actually, it's nice. I mean, they, they have the two speakers, the one in the front, the one in the rear, and uh, it helps detect that. And yeah, definitely not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and turn the ANC on. Okay, so yeah. Hmm, I can still hear my voice pretty clearly. The fan noise is definitely way faded now, but hmm, okay. So it's not real, real strong of ANC, but I think it'll do just fine for plane rides, train rides, things like that. But I think in a really, really noisy environment, I think you're gonna get some bleed through here. All right, let's go ahead and play a song. Highs, mids are good. And you know, hang on one second, pause this. You know, one thing is for sure. As soon as you put an MPOW in your ears, you know it's an MPOW. I swear the MPOW stands for pow, like punch, because you get that muddy bass. It's a deep bass. It's hard to explain but it's something that the MPOWs have mastered. All right, let's go ahead and finish the song out. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right. Uh, right off the bat, I did notice, however, now this is something I usually don't have an issue with when it comes to MPOW, is wanting more sound. I usually want to turn it down more than turn it up. But on the MPOW X6s, I find myself needing a little bit more in the volume department. Strange. I'm not used to that. Mind you, it sounds fantastic. The the muddy bass you get from an MPOW, perfect. Uh, highs, mids, lows, perfect. But it's almost like you just want just a tad bit more. Interesting. All right, let's just race through the pros and cons real quick so I can get you guys out of here like I promised. Pro number one is definitely the IPX rating you get on these. You get an IPX6 on a ANC set of earbuds. Not too common, usually it's an IPX4 or less. Uh, so keep that in mind, that is a good IPX rating for a pair of buds like that. And another big feature on these that I saved for last is the fact that you can wirelessly charge the case. You know I am a big fan of that. I love being able to slap these down on a charger and Fran's your aunt. Yeah, you thought I was going to say Bob's your uncle, didn't you? Yeah, it was Fran's turn. Cons that I would say is obviously the flimsy hinge on the case, but really in all reality, stick your finger in the way and it'll be fine. Oh, and by the way, they don't come out. Great magnet. Now you guys may be wondering how these sounded on phone calls and they are fine. They're not the best, but they're not the worst either. All right, guys, I did promise to get you out of here as soon as possible. Don't hesitate to drop me a comment down below if you have any questions whatsoever on this review today or earbuds or any questions that may tickle your fancy. I will certainly try to get back to you as soon as possible. All right, so as far as Brandon recommending you the new MPOW X6, although I am not sponsored or endorsed through this company, I merely get the product sent to me I do you guys the review and that's how it works. Bada boom, bada bang. I can tell you right now that yes, I would recommend these because I am a firm believer of MPOW. And not only that, you can get these at a very good price right now. They are normally listed at $89.99, but for you, they have a 33% discount, which will give you these beautiful earbuds 
for $59.99. And not only do they come in that cool dark blue, they also come in purple and gold. So you can definitely get your bling on, no excuses. Oh, and by the way, I will leave you an affiliate link down in the description below and where you can pick up the pair. All right, one last thing, and as I promised, I will get you out of here, but you know me, I'm Brandon, no D, that opens up a fortune cookie. All right, let's see what the fortune is today. What is my honorable fortune today? An upcoming event will reunite you with old friends. Well, what do you know? That's weird because I actually saw some friends yesterday. Not today, but it was yesterday. And we were kind of reuniting as well. So, very cool. Hopefully this video wasn't too painful for you and you guys are able to sleep tonight. Don't forget to like and share the video as it helps my channel grow tremendously. And you guys know, I think you know, well you will now. I'll see you in my next video.